Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about how you can uh, rename an existing database within SQL Server. So there are some points which we need to consider before uh, renaming the database. First point is that we cannot uh, rename the system databases. Let me show you what system databases are. So if you go inside SQL Server and uh, if you connect to your instance of SQL Server using this connect button. I'm connected to the default instance that's why I'm not giving instance name just the machine name so I'm clicking on connect and uh, I'm expanding databases and uh, I have a section for uh, system databases if you expand that you will see four database namely master model msdb and tempdb listed over there so these four databases are called system databases and we cannot rename these databases so let's go back to the notes and the second point is that uh, database cannot be database name cannot be changed if other users are accessing the database and to prevent this to prevent other users from accessing the database we generally put the database to a single user mode so uh, let me show you how you can do that uh, so if you right click on it on any database let's see if there is an option to put this into a single user mode so on the task I'm checking if there is any such option no it is not showing me in the tasks let me see properties if you can uh, put the database into a single user mode through property So if you look under the options on the left hand side and uh, if you look at this particular grid under the state section you see that a restrict access option is there and it is set to multi user. You can set it to single user and or you can restrict it to any particular user maybe a system admin who is uh, right now trying to rename the database. For now, I know that uh, none of the other users are connected to this database, so I'm just putting it to single user. And clicking after that, click on OK. And now, once the database is in single user mode, you will see single user written right in front of that database. So, uh, single user is proceeding the test DB, uh, if you look at here. So the database is in single user mode and uh, we can and it's suitable for renaming right now because no other users can make connections to this database. So let me take you back to the notes. So before renaming the database you should uh, restrict the database to a single user. And renaming can be done in the following ways either you can uh, perform the renaming using the GM mode in uh, SQL Server Management Studio or you can rename a database by using a T equals query demo okay so I will provide demo for both of these modes both for the GA mode and both for writing T SQL query and once the database is renamed uh, you should back up the master database that's a requirement in Azure SQL database this is not required because uh, backups occur automatically for all the databases and if the database uh, which you are renaming is set uh, set as a default database for your login then you need to reset your default database after renaming the database alright so let's let me take you through this demo where you can use SQL Server Management Studio uh, to rename a database in graphical mode so let's go back to SQL Server so right now we are connected to the database and it is set to single user so there should be no open connections to a database we need to ensure that and it should be in single user mode 
it can be set in single user mode to close any open connections and we, and after putting by putting it in single user mode we can prevent other users from connecting to this database and um, in order to rename it right click on databases and there is a rename option over here uh, I need to click on it and I need to type in the new name so I'm uh, renaming it to test db2 test db1 and press enter after that so the database is renamed from test db2 test db1 so this was the graphical way using sql server management studio now uh, I will demonstrate how you can use uh, T-SQL query to rename it uh, back to the original name. You can follow the steps I'm performing. So you need to open up a new query and right now the query window is set to test db database. So let's wait for it to get ready. So yeah, our system is ready. So so first of all, uh, before I proceed with the query, let let me take this database out of single user mode because uh, I have performed the rename. So I'm waiting for the properties window to open. So somehow it is giving me error when I trying to right click on it. So let me see how I can prevent this error message to come. It is not showing me the properties dialog for box for this particular database. Let's see what we can do. So what I have done is I have uh, reconnected to the SQL server and uh, this time I right clicked on the database and it has given me the option to select properties but when I click on properties it gives me the error message okay Let me see if I can go to properties window. I think there is some issue with my login because my login was mapped to a different database. So maybe that's why it's not, uh, I'm not having rights to access this database. So. Let me go to security and see my login. Uh, so this is my login beneath PC beneath and uh, I'm going to properties and there is a user mapping section where my user is mapped to the database. It is showing me that my user is mapped. Uh, let me unmap it and try to map it again and see if that makes any difference. So this is taking some time in the meantime I'm pausing this video. It is not even allowing me to disassociate this database from this user login so let me cancel it and try to open SQL studio once again to see if that makes any difference.
so I'm back and checking what is the uh, default database uh, configured for my user and if I go to security logins and right click on my user login I see that the under general section the default database that is mapped to my account is master and under user mapping I have mapping associated to this database but yeah somehow it is not allowing me to I have access to this database right let me try if I can go to properties once again I can got the error message. Uh, let me research on this and get back to you. Okay, guys, uh, I have read some online articles and saw that there is a specific way to uh, take database into single user mode. Uh, you need to turn off certain options. Uh, right now, it's not allowing me graphically to go into the properties of the database. Let me see if I can open up a new query and set it to multi user mode again um, using the alter database command let me try that option but yeah but I'm uh, waiting for this query window to open so yeah at least query window got open and connected to the tsdb1 database let me see if I can uh, execute any statements against it so I'm altering database tsdb1 and I'm setting it to multi-user let's execute this statement to see if this works so I see that command is completed successfully and if I refresh the database is in multi-user mode let's let me check the properties now I am able to open the properties so uh, what I will do I will prepare a separate video for this and separate video regarding how you uh, how to effectively put the database in single user mode you need to turn off certain options and for now we have executed this query to take database out of the single user mode so let me take you back to notes and we were done with the GUI mode of to put uh, the database into single user mode and then you can rename it now we will show you how you can uh, do this via SQL Server Management Studio T SQL method where you can write in query to rename a database by putting it in single user mode. Let me see. So let me take it to SQL Server. So open up a new query against the test DB and uh, start typing it uh, along with me so the query which you need to execute is the alter database statement and the name of the database I'm renaming it back to testdb from testdb1 so first of all I'm altering this database and setting the single user mode to on so in order to put it in single user mode I need to use the set option and the single user option and I need to put this option with some keywords with rollback immediate and this was a single batch of statements so putting go after that and again altering the database and test tb1 is the database and modifying I'm modifying the name back to test TV and um, statement is finished here and putting go the second batch completed third batch I'm again altering the database database name is test TV and I'm setting the 
multi user option back let me see set multi user that's it statement is finished and putting go for the third batch and you can even use single user mode without this option as well I think you will be able to execute it so here I'm setting the single user mode then I'm renaming it back to test TV and then I'm putting the database in multi user mode so I'm executing the query so it is giving me some error so name should not be within the quotes so removing quotes so let me try to execute the query again so yeah the database name test db has been set we got the answer let me refresh this and see now it is showing me again name as test db1 i need to close the connection and reopen the connection to the server to see if the renaming has been done so yeah i can see the renaming has been done and the database in multi user mode and i can check its properties as well so and these are the three batch of query statements which you can note down first you need to alter the database set it to single user mode then you need to again alter the database modify its name to whatever you want um, without the quotes uh, database name should not be within the quotes and you again alter the newly renamed database and set it to multi user uh, from single user so let's close this query window so we are done with our second demo as well and there was a requirement if you rename a database you should take the backup of the master database and uh, one more thing you should reset your default database after renaming so what is the default database so for each and every login uh, we have a default database so if I take it back to SQL Server and uh, if I uh, go to the security section and the logins I'm logged in as we need PC we need and if I go to the properties of this account um, under the general section uh, at the bottom you can see the section for default database right now my user account is set to master so I don't need to modify it to make uh, newly renamed database uh, as my default database but yeah I can run a query to do so so for example if I w want to set my database default database from master to test DB, I can do that via graphical mode like this and hit on ok the other way is to issue a query let me show you how you can do that through query so right now master is the default database for my current login and uh, let me set it to test db so i'm opening a new query window and um, i need to use the statement alter login and uh, i need to provide my login so complete login is vineet pc slash vineet is the login with a default database equal to the new database test TV. No, let me execute this statement so it is saying that I am using the incorrect syntax and let me try to put them within square brackets uh, both the login name and the database name and let's try to execute the query now query is executed so make sure to put the login name and the database name within the square brackets and uh, now let me go ahead and check the login properties my default database should be set to test db so if i expand it on the general page i can see the default database is set to test db so let me set it back to master and let's click on ok let's click the query window close it out and let's go back to the notes so yeah um, we are almost done with this video and this video we have shown you how you can use GI mode in SQL Server Management Studio to rename a database after putting it into a single user mode and uh, we have shown you the same concept via T SQL query as well and we have shown you how you can set a default database uh, for a particular login uh, using the graphical way as well as the T SQL query way 
uh, and I thank you for your time uh, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video and hit on the bell icon uh, subscribe to all the updates and please share this video with your friends as well so that they can enhance their knowledge as well and I once again uh, thank you for your support and uh, you have a wonderful day ahead